Today we are attempting our third attempt at spherification. The other two attempts were failures, but they were close. We think we have finally got it figured out. Using an immersion blender, we incorporated sodium alginate into a lukewarm, strongly brewed Sencha Jasmine green tea mixture. Each bowl contains about 260 milliliters of the tea solution. The silver bowl on the left contains 0.5% sodium alginate by weight, about 1.3 grams. And the white bowl on the right, 1.0%, about 2.6 grams. The resulting mixtures were placed into centrifuge tubes and centrifuged at 850 RPMs for 10 minutes. This was done to remove bubbles and remove anything that had not previously been strained out. The tubes were balanced in the centrifuge by placing two half percent and two one percent solutions across from each other. Once finished in the centrifuge, the tubes were checked for air bubbles. The bubbles had moved to the top and anything that had not been filtered out had moved to the bottom. We will utilize three of each percentage to make ravioli and one tube of each percentage to make caviar. Next, a 5% calcium chloride bath was made by placing 5 grams of calcium chloride into a 1 liter bowl of deionized water. The small silver bowl on the right contains just deionized water for rinsing the final product. The tubes were then uncapped and the bubbles which had moved to the top of the tubes were removed with the back of a teaspoon. Three tubes of each concentration were then slowly poured down the side of a bowl to minimize the re-entry of bubbles into the solution. This also allows us to leave behind the sediment in the centrifuge tube.
Now it's time to make caviar. First up, the half percent tea alginate solution. The caviar were in there for about 30 seconds after dripping completed. Dripping took about 30 to 40 seconds. Look at those beautiful caviar. Following the half percent solution, the one percent solution was done. That's on the left side of your screen and the half percent on the right. There is a definitive difference in the appearance of the caviar. The half percent tasted better and had a better mouthfeel, but the one percent looked better. The half percent solution in the white bowl is now being used to attempt to make a spherified ravioli. Two raviolis were made just pouring the solution into the 5% calcium chloride bath and one was made by placing a small amount of the 5% calcium chloride solution into the half tablespoon first. This ravioli is the third one to come out of the bath, will be at the top of the screen, and is in a lima bean shape. The following ravioli I dropped out of my mouth because I was talking with it on my tongue. It fell out of my mouth and I caught it in my hand and it popped all over me. The lesson to be learned here is the following. When placing ravioli in your mouth, you keep your mouth shut. <laughs> And Don't try and just, do voiceovers. Just eat it. <laughs> Don't try to talk with them in your mouth. Thanks for watching.